I ain't talking my pockets, just no weed. I need to take this with me in case I need to tame it, because... Because I'm not going to be able to do this Okay, I'm running a little late. I know I did not do a proper intro to this video. I will do it a little later. This one is probably too loud. Um, so I know I didn't do a proper intro to this video. I will do it a little later when I get to Pretoria. Um, yeah, I am running a little late. I was supposed to have left. How do I change my thing? My phone cannot recognize me when I've got makeup on and I don't know all my passwords, especially to like my my banking apps and stuff so I can't really it's gonna be a bit of an issue having to unlock this phone. But it does not recognize me. Anyway, I also left the house at eight. It is eleven minutes past eight and I'm not dressed, so I'm probably gonna leave at about twenty past, which means I'm like 20 minutes behind schedule but at least i packed everything in the car yesterday and all i need to do is just pack my laptop pack um a couple of otps just in case so i'm taking this one today i don't know i'm just feeling a little um okay let me pack my stuff Bye. With me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like Um hi guys, so good morning actually. I need to do an intro to this vlog. I think it's it makes sense. Let me put this here if I can. I think it makes sense for me to do this intro in the car instead of going inside nights in jail. I already spoke to you guys. Good morning. Um, welcome to the channel. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, it is... What day is it today? I hate that my phone can't see me when I'm wearing makeup. Like I always have to punch in my password. I'm so uncomfortable. For my paper, my pepper spray. And I've also got like a taser somewhere in the car which I need to get closer to me. Because we live in South Africa. We cannot be oblivious of what happens to women on a daily basis. I don't want to go down without a fight. And that's very, it was very hard for me to get that out of my mouth because... <sighs> like you're just making it difficult. You're not preventing it. That's how fucked up it is. But anyway, um... Okay, let me explain why. So, I'm at a development... Am I ever going to introduce this vlog? Okay, let me just quickly explain. I'm at a development, a new development, and the place is still being built. Um, so there are contractors everywhere. Um, but I understand with Baya Sebenza, I'm just not going to be like, oh no, Baya Sebenza, you know, I'm good. <sighs> Man, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I either, ex I would say I exaggerate or I'm just always careful. Like, I don't just rule people off as, nah, he's not going to do it, you know? But when I drove in, um, they were making like some comments and sounds and some other guy was being weird and licking his lips Ugh. but yeah hence i say i'm feeling very uncomfortable because now i'm parked here and i need to go inside this place and um ventilate the space open up the curtains and everything and light up and ventilate sorry i need to go into this place light up ventilate there's nobody it's a new development um security is far at the gate and these guys are working here today so yeah what made me uncomfortable really uncomfortable was just how they like their reaction and how they were just making sounds and oohs and ahs and you know facial expressions that just make women uncomfortable like why why are you guys so comfortable doing that to somebody you don't know why i don't understand like i feel like you guys violate people you violate females in fact not just any people like females and i don't like it as I tell up in do your good see like Bible in a master class. Lemons conference about Hamba every year and New Valentine's Day. It must teach them to stop making people uncomfortable and stop being so so comfortable just making oohs and ahs and making facial expressions and advancement and, and advancements to people they don't know. So I don't normally complain. I'm not a person that complains. If you want to tell me I'm pretty, tell me and I'll say thank you. Not not so perverty. Like don't look like you you know I don't I don't even know how to explain it but anyway that just made me so uncomfortable but um I am on time well I'm 
13 minutes late i was supposed to have been here at nine because i wanted to take a couple of pictures again because the pictures that i took the last time i was here don't really look so good but i did make some pointers to myself um and i just wanted to redo that whole shoot uh but the client is going to be here at half past nine it is quarter past nine now and i didn't want to have to rush um this whole process since i wanted to arrive 30 minutes earlier but i'm 15 minutes early anyway and load shedding is gonna hit at 10 o'clock so i need to wrap up this viewing at before 10 actually um so when she gets here at half past nine we're gonna do the whole viewing do a walk through have conversations and stuff and then <clears throat> if she needs because she wanted a couple of options we might move to like a different location after here so yeah that's what's happening today anyway good morning i am sorry good morning welcome to my vlog welcome to my channel um it is a tuesday the 20 what day is it 21st of february and it is quarter past nine and we are in pretoria um olympus to be exact uh i've got a viewing there's a client that is interested in a property and uh, well a couple of properties she wanted me to give her options so that's what we're doing today i decided to vlog because we're out and about i did try to vlog another day where i was just working from home um i didn't have appointments and i just wanted to vlog the a typical day of a real estate agent when you are, well not a real estate agent guys let me just get that straight a typical day of me you know a day in the life and real estate i'm a mom i'm a wife i'm um a real estate agent i'm a daughter i'm a daughter-in-law i'm a sister i'm a friend so <laughs> all those aspects you'll be able to see in my vlog so i don't want to say this is a day in the life of a real estate agent yes i am a real estate agent a real estate agent and it is a day in the life of a real estate agent but that title gives you the impression that you're only going to see real estate stuff and i do not want to box myself into just real estate stuff i want to vlog the overall day like if i'm cooking a nice dinner i want to be able to vlog that if i'm hanging out with my kids i want to be able to vlog that as part of like the whole day of um a real estate agent like it doesn't take away from you know but also i just don't want to use the whole title of a day in the life of a real estate agent whereas it's not just real estate it's just a day in the life of me or life and real estate rather because it is life mixed with real estate and not just you know real estate this needs to be closed what i feel like this takes away my my craving of um i'm a cool drink and stuff no no it doesn't you gotta lie like that girl Like, ride with me if you ride with me You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick You can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick This place is so beautiful And I probably see this every time I'm here Construction is coming along pretty well Let me show you Last time we were here, they were building the ones at the back there, but they're completed. So now they're here. Oh. Here's our favorite mirror in the universe. <laughs> um, just ventilating the space and lighting it up. For the purpose of me not having to run back up and switch on the lights when she gets here. Because I think it looks much better when it's well lit. Um, and the space is opened up and well ventilated. The place sells itself, if I'm being honest. Why am I out of breath? I'm out of breath because I was walking <laughs> up the stairs. But I feel like I'm going to see you if you know what I'm so sweating. I'm just wearing this simple vest um from fushini i'm wearing this pleated skirt from fushini as well oh wow and this blazer from fushini <laughs> so i'm all fushini i'm going to change this watch and put on like a nice one i put on this one because i wanted to count my steps since it's going to be a busy day and chances are i'm going to make an excuse later tonight when it comes to going to the gym so hence i feel like <sighs> let's count my steps like if i do six thousand steps then i might be able to skip gym but 
yeah i'm gonna change this and i'm gonna wear a nicer one right we'll be wearing this is what i'm wearing now for my professional day but then later i do have a couple of outfit changes so i can have options when it comes to my my headshot try and stand here are not on. Okay. Do quick now. Do quick, quick. I think she's here. So from upstairs, I can't really hear much. <laughs> I can't really see the gates. I need to be standing here to see. Okay, she is here, so... <sighs> Why are these lights not on? I need to work on this whole thing of me panicking. I really need to work on me panicking, because I can't panic all the time. Those lights are not on. She's doing this to come up. <laughs> Okay, so shut up. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. Okay. I don't understand the fact that I run. Um so I don't understand why. Um I don't understand why I'm always out of breath like half the time. In fact, 80% of the time I'm half I'm out of breath. And I do run on a daily basis. I run not on a daily basis, but like I try to like make sure that I am active and I do like a two kilometer run. If not two kilometers, I do one kilometer and then I lift weights. But I'm still so out of breath just by going up and down the stairs. But anyway, um the viewing is done um it is i ended up not taking the, the watch off i'm like f aesthetics okay i want to count my steps because i really feel like i'm gonna get home and be tired and i still need to cook so i would much rather you know skip gym honestly <laughs> if I, this is me being honest with myself anyway um the viewing is done uh, I want to take a couple of pictures now. Remember, I arrived a little behind. I was a little behind schedule, so I arrived about 15 minutes before the client, and I needed to ventilate the space. And I was already out of breath. I wasn't trying to go up and down with the camera. Um, about five, 10 minutes before the client arrives, and she was actually early today. You know, morning clients are almost um, most of the time early. So I just felt like let me just trust my instinct and wait for her, and I did. And she arrived a little early. She arrived about four minutes early um and we did the viewing it went very well she spent quite a bit of time because about 20 past now um we went all around we even went to like the construction site to see how far they are with regards to the the building um they're moving pretty quick like this development is moving pretty quick so um yeah she just wanted to know the occupation date or the anticipated occupation date because you know a lot of things in construction are not always like you know for a fact, but she wanted to know um, the estimated occupation date and yeah, just quite a, a bit of questions and we had to sit down and speak about that and show her the whole plan and like the square meters because she has like a queen size bed, she just wants to know if it's going to fit. It's a construction site, okay? You're going to hear almost everything that's happening outside, but um. The viewing is done. Um, that was the only viewing I actually came for here. Now I want to go and check out this other place. Um, in what's that place? In Six Fountains. My buyer database, they have a specific price range and specific um, requirements for what they're looking for. So I just want to go check that out and see if it is something that will meet the requirements of any of my buyers. And um, as soon as I know all that then I can send them these places as options. I don't like wasting people's time when they tell you specifically what they want. Ooh. <laughs> when they tell you specifically what they want from a property and basically when you buy it, you feel like they might like the song because you like it. 
the person that's buying is supposed to like the house, not you. Well, not me. In that case, that's something that I had to learn. Because I'm not the one who has to like the place. The person that has to like the place is the person that's buying. So I need to go and verify. Um, just make sure that uh, these places do meet most of the requirements, at least. Not all, most, because <laughs> you don't always get like the perfect place. Sometimes you need to tweak a little thing or two. Say, for instance, you want uh, 1,500 square meters of land and you want like a big house and you want it modern. So you might for a certain um, price range. And for that, if we can get you like a big house and a big yard, not so modern, then you can spend a bit of money and time making it modern. And it can also be like a touch of whatever you th whatever it is your taste is. So um, I know, well, I've, I've, make, I may, I've made a note of what each uh, client is willing to, um, you know, forego in, in their specifications of what they're looking for in a property. And I like the lighting in this house. I think it's so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, -wee. okay. So, sorry, I was saying, okay. So as I was saying, um, I did make a list of um, items that certain clients are willing to forego because of like the budget, you know? Um, say for instance, they have like, they're working with like a three million rand budget in a certain location and they want certain things, there are certain things. To, say for instance, they need to spend five million in a certain location to get that, but they're only willing to spend three. So if they're spending three, then there are some items that they, sometimes we do negotiate and there are some items that they're willing to forego. So I just want to go and check out who that particular property might be suitable for. I will show you the property and then after that I think we'll make time for the photo shoot. It's, half past ten, it's 25 past 10 now. Um, I want to go to that property and then from there we're going to go eat. I'm not going to go eat at a restaurant. I'm probably just going to go to a drive through like a McDonald's or KFC or something. Uh, get something small, low calorie and then <laughs> yeah, then we head on with the day. So let's be out of here. I didn't even take pictures, man. Okay, let's take a cup. I feel like I'm going to cut. I feel like if I spend some more time here taking pictures i'm going to be late for everything else and isn't does that mean they're so spaced out like they're well spaced out for the day i shouldn't be late for anything but um if i spend way too much i'd rather be early because also i want to make a provision for the time that i'm going to spend sitting down also i want to make a provision for the time that i'm going to spend sitting down and eating and i also need to make provisions for these times where i'm standing around with the camera and giving updates as to what's happening in the day so I don't wanna start running it, but I can afford to take a couple pictures. I just say, ah, hey, have I learned? I'm, oh, let's take a snap. I'm always, I always get home and I'm like, why don't you take a picture of yourself? Like you always, you have pictures of the entire unit, but not a picture of yourself. Why? If you're trying to share your real estate journey on Instagram, like stories and stuff, like why aren't you taking pictures of yourself? I always find it I did not take pictures. And that's always annoying. So today, especially because I've got makeup on, we're gonna take pictures. But a flashlight back camera. So let's see what we get from that. Ah, this is so weird. It feels so weird and uncomfortable. I think I like the lighting this side. I prefer the lighting this side. <laughs> Makes me yellowish. Is it weird that I like being yellow? Is it? Okay. I mean, I look like if I went missing and somebody used this to look for me, they wouldn't find me. They literally wouldn't find me. If this is the picture that. Or if maybe I went on a blind date, let's not make an example with the current horror of the country <laughs> um, of the world that well let me say the country the country let me not make an example with the current horrors that the women that women in this country face so if we went on a blind date and you had to look for me and you went by this Instagram thing with a filter then you would you wouldn't recognize me you would walk past me and be like no not you I'm looking for <laughs> I'm looking for someone, not you, not you. I'm looking for somebody. Okay, so this is like gonna be like an out and about. 
uh, day in the life. Well, it's not a day in the life. It's not suitable for me today. But I understand what they mean. Like, I understand whether it was like quality and like clearer and crisp. I don't know. Something about the front camera is a bit um, soft, and this one kind of is like clear, clear, clear. So, I think I get it. We'll use. Use the back camera now. Just make one last one in case this one. In case I don't like this one when I get home. And another thing, um, I never post my whereabouts. Is it weird? I feel like I've been warned by people who have been on social media longer. Um, I never post where I am and what I'm doing on that day. So what I'm doing today is probably gonna go to my stories tomorrow, unless if I'm like at home making coffee. But if I'm out and about, especially like. A development or viewings because um, with real estate you do have to like tag your location sometimes in case like your potential buyer is somewhere on that video that you're making um, you know especially because I do like property tours like if I have like a video of a house that you might like you want to know where it is and in order for me to minimize the amount of questions I get I put all the information that I can and then if you have, if you have additional information then you can contact me but um, yeah so if I'm out and about and I'm tagging my location, I never do it on the same day. Like these snaps, um, snaps, Instagram stories. These Instagram stories are not going on my stories today. They're going on my stories tomorrow because it won't make sense. By the time I get home at about like five, um, it won't make sense for me to post this. So I'll post it tomorrow. Does that make sense? Yeah, I never post my day, my, my whereabouts. Like if I'm posting something about, unless if it's like a show house and I'm like with a group of people um, or business partners and we're all doing a show house, then yes, I need you to come through now. I'll post the location, I'll post it now. But if it's something like this where I'm meeting one particular person and I'm also vlogging and I'm dropping my location, I'll probably, um, I'll probably, what am I saying? I'll probably um, post the video the next day. Let's try the front camera and see the difference. But I'll probably post the video the next day. Never really on the same day. Yeah, no, I don't like. Immediately, no. Immediately, it's a no. Well, compared to the back camera, immediately, this is a absolutely no. Give you options for when you get home. But the thing is, some people post in real time, which means they have the time to like make sure that their snap is perfect or not perfect. But they make to make sure that their snap is like what they want it to be and you know they have the time to do that now I am doing these and I'm not even paying much attention to what I don't like like say for instance like my hair standing up here and I get home I'm like shoot I should have just done this so some people do that in real time I do this because I'm normally like in a hurry I will just take then get home and then end up not posting because I feel like my hair was up or my lip was going to Sixty. Fifty. Yo. Okay. Yeah. It's eating in booze. and then Mago go to have a month of text. Oh, Getting This car is such a mess. I packed everything. Now I can't find anything because of the fact that I don't know where my stuff is. So I changed my shirt. Um, Xeni, when you saw me, I was wearing. Why you come here? Let me Xeni, when you saw me, I was wearing this, and then um, I had a black blazer. But it's scorching hot. Like it is. It's very hot. And I had this just in case. I feel like I look so different now um, that I've changed the shirts into like a green one. And I'm telling you, I was cutting with Dumba Zaga. I look cool. So. You have to close and be professional um yeah it's got some like a cooler foot from the last time we spoke because as i was walking out there's a lady that came in who was looking for a place um she's like i saw the boards outside and i was like let me just take chances and come in and when she came in she's like oh i'm so glad you're here i would like to see the place and she went around seeing the place and she liked it and we're not gonna count out chickens before they hatch eggs before the hatch, chicken before the hatch, somewhere there. We're not gonna count anything before it hatches, whether chicken or uh, eggs, we're not counting it. So we'll figure that out. Um, 
but yeah I wanted to give her a couple of other options hence we came to this different location and this different location she saw it she's okay with it but if she doesn't win with that one she most preferably like she prefers that one this would be like something to fall back on but she prefers that other one so yeah but like I said we're not counting anything before it hatches whether chickens or eggs um, I just wrapped up with her um, the plan was to have one client that side and then go get food and then prep for the photo shoot but several 12 my photo shoot is at one so in the next hour um, so now I want to get something to eat quickly because it's past 12 I'm basically intermittent fasting at this point but it's past 12 and um, I need to go past it maybe a McDonald's drive through and get something quick to eat and then we can go see that other property that I spoke about in the morning and then after that we can prepare for the photo shoot. My battery is dying on me and I don't know if I'll be able to charge it if I don't get to vlog my photo shoot. I'm so sorry. Because Nephonia, I mean, I don't understand what's going on. My phone's battery is like quickly draining but that's because I'm using them. Like near yeah, seven, these things have been in use since morning. <laughs> so I can't be shocked. Okay, let me answer. This is a potential client as well. I'm gonna answer and then let me go. We'll speak later. Hey, the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me, is you trying to fall through? I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we all for do what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't leave me on red. With your UPS system because you know South Africa. This is standard 6 kVA suitable for stage 6 load shitty, which we're in now. Um, entry ray, close the door. <laughs> this is your entry ray. This is me. Um, my little professional outfit. This mirror is a bit high because I'm a short girl, but I mean. It looks perfect for this area then you have your little I would personally make this my coffee station put all your coffee items up there and your coffee machines and stuff here and this is just extra storage extra storage extra storage I don't want to show you that area yet it's like extra storage extra storage extra storage and then this area is so big you can even fit like a table with you all but you can keep it as open as it is now. Then this is like a scullery laundry area with your laundry sink. And that is like your dishwashing area with your dishwasher sink. Now this door goes outside into the garage. So if you parked outside and you close the, ga the garage from the outside, you can just use this door to come in. And this is a little area where you hang your laundry. And you have a walk-in pantry. You literally have a walk-in pantry. How perfect. You can open this up and close it as you as you wish. Um, and then when you come back here, sorry. When you come back here, you've got all the storage area, beautiful modern kitchen. Beautiful finishing touches. We'll come back here later. Just do this. Okay, so you've got this almost island, but not really. I think this one makes the kitchen more spacious because you have all that open space. You don't even miss the double story. So this is your TV area. <laughs> have a little window up there, I don't know why. I think 
let's just do the tour without talking because you're wasting time. The way you make me feel. I don't wanna mess up your night. I don't wanna put up a fight. I don't wanna trouble you, babe. But I got to say, I don't wanna waste no more time trying to shake the feelings inside. Finally got made up my mind. Can't go one more day without you. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? I'm late. Photoshoot was at half past one, it's half past one. I'm still here, but I'm going. But I'm going, I need those headshots. So, I'm going. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Okay, my battery's done. I'll show you what we have for now. Half past two. At least I'm not that late, but it's been great. Bye. Hold up, hold up, say what's the hold up? I got the pack, who got the roll up? I'm trying to pull up. It seems like every time I show up, it gotta go up. See the drip, they see the glow up. Oh, now they know us. See, it's funny how my pockets out of shape, but I fit for the flex. Clear the phone call, hit my chick with a text. Parlay through the burn. 